Ever wonder when you first stumbled upon that family-friendly TV series that left you laughing, shocked, and maybe even shedding a tear? If it was eight is enough, then you're in for a treat. This 1977 jam takes you through the lives of the Bradford family with a perfect blend of humor, surprises, and touching moments. Remember the first time you tuned in? Or perhaps there's a scene etched in your memory? We all have that one moment that lingers. As you watch, be prepared for a roller coaster of funny, shocking, and heartwarming facts. The Bradford family knows how to keep you hooked. Now, think about your most cherished memory or personal experience tied to this series. We're eager to hear your stories and memories. Drop them in the comments below and let's share the nostalgia. So, when did you first become a part of the Bradford's world? Is there a particular scene that left a lasting impact on you? Share your thoughts and let's dive into the world of eight is enough together. More surprises await. The impact of the 1977 TV series 8 is enough reverberates through time, leaving an enduring legacy that continues to resonate with audiences today. This family-centric gem skillfully weaves humor, surprises, and poignant moments to create a timeless narrative that transcends generations. At the heart of the show, the Bradford family became a mirror reflecting the joys and challenges of real-life families. The relatability of their experiences, filled with laughter, shocks, and heartfelt emotions, made it an instant classic. Viewers found themselves drawn into the roller coaster ride of their world, creating a deep connection that has stood the test of time. One of the lasting impacts lies in its ability to capture authentic family dynamics. Unlike many series of its time, it avoided cliches, presenting a genuine portrayal of the ups and downs within a household. The characters, with their flaws and virtues, resonated with audiences, fostering a sense of familiarity that endures even decades later. As viewers reminisce about their introduction to this world, memories of specific scenes linger. These moments, etched in the collective memory of fans, showcase the show's ability to leave a lasting impression. Whether it's a humorous exchange, a shocking revelation, or a heartwarming family bond, it's skillfully crafted scenes that continue to evoke nostalgia. Its relevance today lies in universal themes, love, family, and the journey of self-discovery. The Bradford family's experiences serve as a timeless reminder that, despite the era, family remains a constant source of joy, challenges, and growth. Its impact on popular culture endures as it paved the way for future family-oriented series, influencing the landscape of television storytelling. In essence, it stands as a testament to the power of authentic storytelling and genuine character portrayals. Its legacy lives on not just in the archives of television history, but also in the hearts of those who found solace, laughter, and inspiration within its episodes. So, whether you first joined this world in 1977 or discovered it later, the impact remains and the memories endure. In a candid revelation during a 2000 interview on the E! True Hollywood Story, Dick Van Patten, a pivotal figure in the TV series, disclosed an unexpected twist in the show's fate. Rather than receiving a courtesy call about its cancellation, Patton stumbled upon the disheartening news in the pages of a newspaper. A noteworthy quirk in the casting dynamics emerges as Lori Walters, who portrays a key character, defies the conventional age hierarchy. Surprisingly, Walters happens to be six months older than Betty Buckley, who convincingly steps into the role of her stepmother within the narrative. This anomaly adds a subtle layer of intrigue to the viewer's perception of the characters. Delving into the character Mary's background unveils an interesting facet of the show's narrative. Mary, a central figure in the series, pursued her medical training at the University of California at Berkeley. This tidbit provides a glimpse into the character's academic journey and adds a layer of authenticity to the portrayal of her professional endeavors. These behind-the-scenes snippets contribute to the allure of Eight is Enough, offering fans a fresh perspective on the show's production nuances and the intricate web of relationships among the cast. The unexpected revelation about the show's cancellation, the age paradox in casting, and the character-specific details enrich the viewer's understanding of the series, fostering a deeper connection with the Bradford family. In the world of family-oriented television, Eight is Enough stands as a testament to the power of genuine storytelling and authentic character portrayals. The interplay of humor, surprises, and heartfelt moments continues to resonate with audiences transcending the boundaries of time. As fans reminisce about their introduction to the Bradford family, these unique insights add layers to the nostalgia, ensuring that the impact of Eight is Enough endures through the years. 
Mark Hamill, known for his role in the iconic space saga Star Wars, faced a critical juncture in his career when he participated in Eight is Enough. Despite his reservations about the show's comedic shift, Hamill honored his commitment. However, fate had other plans. On the night the pilot aired, Hamill encountered a severe auto accident, resulting in significant facial injuries that compelled him to depart from the series. His subsequent departure left a void in the cast, and Hamill has, on multiple occasions, hinted that the extent of his injuries might have provided a convenient exit strategy. Tragedy struck again during the spring 1977 episodes with the untimely death of Diana Highland, who portrayed the matriarch of the Bradford family. Having completed only four episodes, the show faced a major upheaval. The writers ingeniously wrote her character out, explaining her absence as being away. When the series resumed with new episodes in the fall, Tom Bradford found himself a widower, his wife having passed about a year ago. The loss of Highland prompted a significant narrative shift, altering the trajectory of the show's family dynamics. Grant Goodev, who played David Bradford, took matters into his own hands when he felt his character was not getting enough spotlight. Recognizing the need for a change, Goodev suggested to the writers that David and Janet should undergo a divorce. This creative decision aimed to provide more depth to his character by featuring him prominently in future storylines. Goodev's proactive approach showcased the collaborative nature behind the scenes, highlighting the actor's involvement in shaping the evolution of their characters. In the intricate tapestry of Eight is Enough, unforeseen events from Hamill's accident to Highland's passing molded the series in unexpected ways. Actors like Goodev actively contributed to the creative process, influencing the narrative direction. As the show navigated through these challenges, its ability to adapt and evolve became a testament to the resilience of the Bradford family's story. In the realm of family-oriented television, Eight is Enough emerged as a distinctive series in 1977, weaving a narrative that resonated with audiences across generations. One unique struggle constant was the use of Nicholas, subtly threading through lead-ins before the main title sequence, providing viewers with a continuous connection to the Bradford family. A pivotal aspect of the storyline unfolded with Abby's first husband, Frank Abbott, meeting a tragic end in Vietnam. This poignant detail added a layer of depth to Abby's character, portraying the challenges faced by real-life families during that era. Remarkably, as of 2020, Eight is Enough stood among the rare hour-long television shows featuring a laugh track, contributing to its distinctive blend of humor and authenticity. The laugh track, a subtle yet integral part of the viewing experience, underscored the show's ability to balance serious themes with moments of levity. The series encountered unforeseen twists and turns both on and off screen. Mark Hamill's participation, despite initial reservations about the show's comedic shift, was cut short by a severe auto accident on the night of the pilot's airing. This incident not only altered the trajectory of Hamill's career, but also left a void in the ensemble cast. Tragedy struck again with the untimely death of Diana Highland, the matriarch of the Bradford family, during the spring 1977 episodes. The writers adeptly navigated this challenge, writing her character out and reshaping the family dynamics. Grant Goodev, who portrayed David Bradford, actively influenced the narrative by suggesting a divorce storyline for his character, showcasing the collaborative nature behind the scenes. In essence, Eight is Enough's ability to adapt and evolve in response to unexpected events and challenges became a testament to the resilience of the Bradford family's story. As viewers reminisce about their introduction to this world, the series continues to evoke a deep connection, capturing the universal themes of family, love, and growth.